<laughs> yeah, search for pubic hair scene. Claire just can't control her scared little farts. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where? <laughs> exactly. On the task <laughs> you can do later. You have done. So I completely forgot this was a thing and didn't do the these missions till the very end of the game. Did that have an effect? No, not really. Oh, what do you think of old RT then? What? The door in the back. Cool. I got clearest level two. Yay! Um, I kind of. Oh, I uh. What was I gonna say? Can't even remember. Yep. There you go. I've got a new mission, so I can always do that if I want to. Cool. Right. So let's just do this, shall we? I don't want to activate it as my mission. Thank you. He just keeps talking, don't he? Don't want to stop talking. Oh man. Cool. What was we talking about before? There's something I said we could talk about while we're playing, and I don't remember what it was. No. Oh! What happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Uh oh. Explosion. Too much. Explosion's not a good thing, right? Explosion's never a good thing. Keep I guess not. On. Okay, sure. So, we have to make sure the power plant doesn't explode, I guess. What's he gonna tell us? Here we go. This will make more sense now, apparently. Northmore. North director before oh there you go so we know his job. I don't want this job really <laughs> I got stuck with it didn't trust it does anybody like their job Claire yeah Northmore was all about power do you like your job <laughs> yeah hungry for authority for order for more he sounds like a good guy right did he explode did he kill him Contain the situation. Oh. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. What happened? He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. That Here's seems like a fairly simple job. I guess so. Did he? Prime candidates waiting in the wings. Did he kill him? Maybe. Had been the whole time. Keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing sure. to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Imagine if you picked it up and just killed yourself. That's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So why did he kill himself in the end? <laughs> Maybe someone I guess it was too much him. to handle. Too much to handle. Oh. Hello? Hello? My name is Claire. Oh, the lift came for me. That's not creepy at all. Do you think it's creepy? Yeah, slightly creepy. I don't like it. Yeah. I'd like to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy universe. That's, that would be my yeah. choice. It's quite fun. I guess the film's fun, but there's a lot of dark stuff in that world, so yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Arish escaped oop. An object of power, of power escaped the pa panopticon. That's a new word. That is. I think that could be a new word in the dictionary. <laughs> Shall I tell you what it? I'll tell you what it is because I know what it is. Oh, I don't know if I should. Or you can kind of gather what it is. An object of power escaped the panopticon. Uh, object of power is? prison. Okay, yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Um, mm. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I'd just like to say, nobody sent me this memo. I've only just got here, so, you know, kind of not my fault. <laughs> Oh, and Claire. NSC power plant. Power plant. Is that that's a person? That's a normal. Hey, are you new? Then go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge uh, here. Arish, I'm saying it wrong. It's Arish. 
Is there anything around? There's a thing over here. I knew there was. Cool. Alright then. So we've made it to the power plant. Looks pretty cool, don't it? Why do they need this giant power plant to... I guess the building's is like... It feels like the TARDIS! I've just realised! Yeah. It's like never-ending, ever-shifting. It's the TARDIS! <laughs> it's a never-ending building! Never-ending... Ending building! Chief of Reach, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a okay. safe room? Hello. I'm the director. They all have HRAs. Except for me. I don't need side. one. Cool. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm At least we found some friendly people. To get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... <gasps> Hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Oh, he's yeah. changed his tone. Let's get yeah. formalities, please. Really weird, isn't it? That this new person is just the director there. They're all just like, yep. As you can don't know who you yeah. are. I've never seen you before, but sure, you're in charge of me now. Brown, I like it. I like the concept of it. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> the NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. Great. NSC. Oh, sorry. Bureau. What is NSC? It's what we call the power plant. You know the uh, big rumbling yeah. metal thing. <laughs> Uh, Sal, cool. head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See what's inside. The, the face animation is pretty good in this. The Dr. Darling I quite like their faces. Darling, he's here. No, he came down a few days ago. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. Um, he's out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting oh. about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least what you couldn't put it over the whole building. Hey, did mm -hmm. I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> oh, crazy. Dude. Um. Cool. He knew the hiss was coming. He Listen, knew. How did he know? Twenty questions as much. As <gasps> Maybe you let them in. Got to get Maybe. the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock mm. the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. So what I was going to say is, um. Calling him. <laughs> Listen, the radios aren't cool. working. So if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm God, sure they keep talking. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure cool. has a lot of faith in his boss. Um, what I was going to say is that most the that all of the actors, I think the main actors in this, are played by real people. So they actually look like they look in the game. Yeah. Uh, it's quite cool, because uh, I didn't realise that. But obviously there's live action parts, isn't there? So. Is it my chair that makes noise, do you reckon? Maybe. That's because it's very annoying if it is. I'm trying not to move. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about RT, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. Huh. I told you everything I know about him, so you should, you should you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the Foundation. Oh, detaining him was the right move. The Foundation, Claire, that's the DLC. Is it? We'll figure out what we saw before we decide the next oh, yeah, step. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. I see. Oh! The game just freaked out. Did you see that? A bit weird. I'm weird. Shall I talk to him? What's he got to say? What you got to say, man? The are working again. We should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. Okay, cool. Why is nobody else doing anything about it? I can't be bothered to talk to him, I actually. Alright, let's right. just go do it. You got a lock down the lift. Yeah. What's Anything else in here? Uh, oh, there's a box. Alright, so I've got two things to do. I've got to so fix the coolant pumps and fix the energy converters. Nice. Cool. Let's go do it. I don't know where we're going. <gasps> I keep there's a button. tire. It looks like a tire. It's a tire. It's a tire. The fact that you can move that worries. What, the tire? Yeah. Why? So that you can have enemies. <laughs> enemies up the gate. Enemies uh, of the air, beware. There's a clean. There's a control point. Um, I've cle cleansed it, so. It might be okay, possibly. Although it's it still red in here and yeah. spooky. I don't know if I like it. Right, um. Cool and pumps, energy converters. Which one would you like to go to, Claire? I'll let you pick. Uh, cooling, because I feel like 
might be cool water. Pulse. Okay, and why do you want to go to the watery place? I know, I like having a swim. Splish splash. Claire was having a swim. <laughs> That's the song, right? Oh god. Okay. I hear a noise. Yeah. Is there people? God, there's a pterodactyl. I heard it screech. Oh! Uh, ah! Uh, Why are they? They fly! They like pterodactyls! What is this? I oh, they explode. I joked about they there explode. being a pterodactyl. They but... explode! No! No! <laughs> uh, uh, so whatever they are, they explode. <laughs> so we found a new type of hiss. Which we can't let get near us. Get out of here. Cool, they're exciting, aren't they? Rather so exciting. Then. Okay, then. Get out of here. No! Don't explode me! I'm not. I don't want to be exploded. Oh, here's the thing as well. My telekinesis and my dodge share the same like bar. What are these things? They're these people. are next level, they're like bent in half. <laughs> they're bent in half <laughs> a weird way. They're, they're called his ch look at them. Oh, look at that. His charged. The his charge agents are examples of extreme physical de deformation resulting from his corruption. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charged is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The his charged are designed to, to blow the devices off potential hosts. Exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is this why is the physiology of physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions. No answers. Well wow. nice. Oh wait, that what did that say? By order of director Jesse Faden. So I made this. <laughs> oh. oh no, Emily Pope compiled it, but it was I ordered it to be made. Nice. What is the um, mission that I have to do for Artie? Uh, oh, yeah, what a mess. Burn the trash around the furnace in the maintenance sector. Okay, sure. If I see a furnace, I'll burn the trash. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. What's that room? Is all red. I don't like it. What about in here? Can I hide in here? Hide in the cupboard, Claire. And we'll never come out. <laughs> So, are they your favourite monster so far? <laughs> They're weird. Sorry, I just really randomly thought of something because I was like, I was going to say, it's the red room. They then reminded me of something earlier. Um, I don't know. What's that? How much I can say. Um, I think I might be alright. What are you saying? Well, speaking where, are my aunt, where are my aunts working from home at the moment? Yeah. Uh, oh, I can't get in. Oh, I see. But it's not weird. Can I keep this in? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know what to do. <laughs> I've never, never seen them. Surprisingly, uh, not my kind of thing. I don't think. I don't think I care for that. <laughs> um, have I ever had my rant about that film though? Yeah. So have I ever had my rant about Fifty Shades? Oh, I don't know. So in Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, they CGI'd in How'd her you know? pubic hair. Oh, oh. What do you mean? Maybe I. You haven't seen it. I know, but I've seen clips of it. And, well, not. You've clips seen of clips it, of her pubic hair scenes. What are you saying? No. The, uh, yeah, search for pubic hair scene Fifty Shades. I'm gonna die here. Nope, I'm okay. Um, no, it's just a thing that I I know from like I think Red Letter Media spoke about it possibly. But, um, yeah, or I saw the article of it, about it, maybe. They also CGI'd her nipples, I think. Really? What's wrong um, with her nipples? Yes. Well, that's the thing. I, what I don't understand is, there's two reasons they've done that. They might have worn One, nipple covers, probably, to be fair. One, they didn't like what she looked like, which, why would you hire her to do yeah. it, if that was the case? Ah! 
Um. Oh. Into the middle of hell. It's a floaty boy. Okay. Okay, I think I got him. It's all good. Uh, sorry, it's very hard to talk well. Yeah, one, they either didn't like what she looked like, which, rude, for a start. <laughs> um, but why did they hire her, right? Or two, she didn't want to be naked, right? Which you get, which, why would you go for that part, knowing you had to do that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't get it. Yeah, because I, I think Amelia... Amelia Clark? Clark. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Because she said that was oh, the most nice. awkwardest bit, because she watched it with her um, parents, parents right? yeah. And then she was like, well, this is awkward. But Kit Harrington did the same. Uh, okay. His mum watched them at the beginning. Okay. And she couldn't get into it. And I think he might have had a love scene or something. Well, no, he couldn't have. Okay. Or she couldn't get into it. And then she decided to try again later on. But she yeah. happened to try again on the episode in which he has the love scene okay. with the North lady from the North under the uh, waterfall, and then he, he she like phoned him up and was like, "Yeah, I don't really think this is for me." <laughs> 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 Imagine being a parent and being like, "Right, I'm giving my kids show and have a go," and you're like, "Why are they got a sex scene? I don't want to see this. What is happening?" Yeah. <laughs> so strange. I don't know what this woman say. Yes, I guess it is bizarre for people to watch and stuff, yeah. But I think the same thing happened with um, In Between Us. Um, so Jay from In Between Us, right? Because yeah. they he gets his shorts pulled down at one point and you mm. see his penis, right? But that's not him. That's not his penis. Um, someone else did it. So weird. So, Without the yeah. way, I'll flash my penis. You but, but, but to be quite honest, that one I understand more. Yeah. Because that is after three seasons, and it's a film they made. So, like, he may have, like, to begin with, never thought he would have to do that, right? No. And he was more, yeah. So, I don't know. I feel if, like what's the talk? I feel like they, I feel like they done what's his name, Dirty. Um, not uh, that's what's the tall Neil. guy. Neil, you yeah. know when he does the fashion show and his balls hanging out? No, that's not the tall guy. That's um. Oh no, it's not. It's um. That's um. Si not Simon. 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 Yeah, Simon. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They done it because he uh, he was constantly like showing off shit. <laughs> like, there's the bit where he had to like he was in the boat naked basically, right? And had a sock yeah. over him or something. Um. Yeah, and then there's the fashion show where his testicles out. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Just bizarre some of the stuff but yeah I, I kind of understand that one more but yeah Whee! so I'm kind of doing this for RT right chucking radioactive waste into the furnace yeah does it seem safe yep perfectly yeah how do I get over there I guess like that can I get through this door oh <coughs> not allowed no entry for me it's getting brighter do you think this is a problem? <laughs> You're gonna start like a radioactive explosion. Yeah. Oh lord. Where's the last one? What did this woman say? Should we hear what she said? Because I didn't really hear it. Because we were, we were both talking. Lead researcher. Does it still come up? Code Omega Paranatural Entity? Oh, it's disappeared. What's she talking about? I can't no hear idea. her anymore. I need to okay. Oh. What is screaming what? in the background? Oh, she's saying the furnace has been talking to her. Um, should we be feeding it? Oh, I'm like... <laughs> what? She's talking to the furnace, Claire. That's not weird at all, is it? She's feeding. She's feeding people to it. What? She just said, "I'll try and find some volunteers." Can you get the ones that are like floating, please? Because it would save me a job. <laughs> 
How weird. Is that a... Yeah, there's one. Ooh, I nearly smacked into the rear. Can I fire it from here, do you reckon? Maybe. It's very bright. Very bright. I feel like I should be wearing my radioactive hazmat suit. Did you hmm. pack it in your suitcase? Uh, no.